Okay, here with uh, CJ Ingram. Just wrapped uh, day one at the uh, Fight for the Fight Hoop Fest event. So you guys just defeated Wasatch Academy. Um, you know, what was kind of like your mentality coming into uh, to this event? Um, you know, we pretty much got the underdog mentality as a team. You know, having a team that were undefeated and won the, um, the, the Chipotle Nationals last year, uh, everybody pretty much kind of is out with all the seniors that's doing well, well, all the parents that graduated last year that's doing well in um, their freshman year in college. So pretty much I think it's a, it's a different team, but we still got the same expectations for ourselves, and we trying to win um, Chipotle again. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, last time we spoke with you was at Pangos All-American Camp back in June. Um, how do you feel like your game has developed since then? Uh, you know, just being able to play with guys um, at the same level as me, um, mm -hmm. being able to share the ball more, um, consistently shoot the jump shot. Um, so things like that, things of that nature, pretty much the offensive side of my game because, you know, defense, um, that's pretty much the mentality I had, like I said, at mm -hmm. Pangos. Um, mm -hmm. That's just all I want to, and I had that um, – before all the all the offers and entries came, so now that uh, all that's came, I can really um, relax, play my game, but keep playing hard as well. What have you kind of been doing to uh, improve your shot? Uh, yeah, I mean, shooting with uh, Coach Shea and the team, uh, mm -hmm. pretty much on the on the shoot machine, a lot getting um, getting some more elevation on my shot because it's pretty it was pretty flat. Mm -hmm. So you know, just getting that arc on my shot. And, um, Hopefully to hit some big time threes later down the stretch. Okay, nice. Uh, and why do you take pride in the, in a defense? Um, because I mean, pretty much at the next level, that's what's gonna get you on the floor faster. Because mm -hmm. you know, uh, at the next level, they're already gonna have their scores and who they want with the ball. So you know, I gotta find ways to stay on the floor even if it's not scoring and um, always dominate those things. So whether it's rebounding, um, guarding the best players, and getting steals, <laughs> things of that nature. <laughs> You know, first year with uh, Montverde, uh, you know, just kind of what led to, to you transferring to the school and what are some of your goals with the team this year? Um, my goals with the team is definitely to win Chipotle National and uh, get better as a player so I can get ready for college. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much the, uh, why I made the decision to come here because mm -hmm. I knew um, the things Coach Boyle could do for me and my game, mm -hmm. um, better me as a person on and off the court. So. You know, just getting ready for college and then competing every day with high-level players and then playing on the national stage like this, um, it should make my ship to college pretty uh, pretty decent for me. Yeah, you know, you mentioned last year's team went undefeated, but you guys have a lot of talent this year and stuff like that. Um, how do you feel like you've been able to play off some of your uh, talented teammates? Um, pretty, pretty, pretty well, you know, um, having guys like Kaden. Uh, that can score the ball from anywhere on the floor. Dante, um, he can get downhill. And um, having a player like Hudson um, that can stretch the floor, so if I'm, whether I'm driving and somebody helps, I can kick it to him for an easy three. And playing with um, Trent, he can do the same as well, stretch the floor. He also can play in the post. So um, those guys' um, ability to be um, positionless, basically that's what we play, positionless ball, where everybody can switch on defense, everybody can shoot, everybody can score and handle the ball. It pretty much makes my job easier, and I just got to play hard. Any players that you like to study, like NBA players or college players you like to watch and emulate? Uh, NBA, definitely. Um, Shea and um, Anthony Edwards. Um, okay. Anthony Edwards, because of course, um, the mentality that he, that he mm -hmm. carries with himself. Yeah. Um, Shea Gilles is Alexander. He plays at his own pace. And he can pretty much score against anybody. Mm -hmm. um, you know, committed to Florida. So congrats on that. Um, you know, what kind of led to, uh, to that decision and, and what made them the right fit for you? Uh, Coach Golden and the staff, pretty much Toy and Green, um, that's who recruited me throughout the process. Um, that one, nobody was really recruiting me. So um, the loyalty that he stayed with, even when my name was growing up and stuff, he was letting me know it was a decision to make, and it was close to home so my friends and family could watch. And um, the way Coach Golden coaches, um, the enthusiasm he has, it just makes you want to play hard. And, um, you know, they like to get up and down. Uh, SEC basketball, and that's pretty much uh, where my game um, it sells through transition. Mm -hmm. So being in the SEC playing with Florida, um, I think it would be good and get me to the next level. You know, how do you kind of see your role with the team uh, uh, next season? Um, you know, I mean, I don't really know which guys are coming back and which guys are leaving, but mm -hmm. like I said, uh, being able to rebound, uh, kick the open guys that can shoot, uh, pretty much what I'm doing in high school right now, uh, being positionless, being able to switch and guard different positions and, uh, you know, find open guys and get downhill. Mm -hmm. um, what do you feel like is maybe some of, like, the best uh, advice you've ever received? Right now. 
you know, just stay humble, mm -hmm. pretty much, and trust God because, uh, like I said, when I was, uh, I always played with guys um, that were heavily recruited, uh, ranked high, mm -hmm. so um, I just had to wait my turn and mm -hmm. um, stay humble, trust the process. That's yeah, pretty much it. for sure. Um, you know, Dad also played at Florida, but as a football player, um, you know, what type of advice did he kind of give you throughout the recruiting process? Um, a lot of people think he forced me to make that decision, but um, he pretty much told me to make whatever decision I wanted to make. And, um, that's what I did. I felt like Florida was a great fit for me. Like I said, why the uh, SEC getting up and down? Um, but throughout the process, he was just a, a great shoulder to lean on. Um, uh, we weighed out every option, but uh, he was there for me when, when, the, um, when I didn't have no recruitment. And he was telling me it was going to come. So uh, being able to have somebody like that in your life, it just makes everything easier. You know, how excited was he when you uh, committed to Florida? He was super excited. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, super excited. <laughs> nice. Um, you know, uh, talk about a time maybe when you uh, kind of battled through some personal adversity and, and what you did to kind of overcome that. Uh, probably um, my junior last year, um, going into AAU. Um, mm -hmm. I, had, I had probably two offers, um, mm -hmm. low to mid-major. And a lot of guys on my team had high major offers, mm -hmm. and they were ranked high, and I wasn't even ranked. So, mm -hmm. just being able to um, get on the platform, I just told myself to stay humble and trust the process and play my game because um, the way I play is pretty rare nowadays. Mm -hmm. So, um, I just had to trust myself. That's pretty much it. Um, trusting the process, trusting all the coaches that um, that helped me put the work in, and then you know I just had to display my game on the national stage. Yeah, I guess. Uh... You know, what did it mean to you to kind of finally get that recognition and, and get some of that attention from the high major schools and stuff? Uh, it meant a lot. Uh, it definitely got a, a, low, a huge load off my shoulders. Mm -hmm. uh, but when the recruitment started happening, it, it was a different type of pressure. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty much from a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. no pressure to a lot of pressure. Again. Yeah. So, but um, if I could do it all over again, I would. Um, I love, uh, at the end of the day, my story is going to be different. So um, I'm happy everything went out the way it did. Mm -hmm. um, we'll wrap it up with this question, but if you had a hashtag to describe yourself, either on or off the floor, like what would that hashtag be and why? Different. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, just having that different time mentality on the court, playing hard, like I said, and then um, being um, a lot of people uh, off the court, um, I'm a real nice guy, you know. I'd like to see others do it better. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to give to others, so that's pretty much it. Awesome. Thank you, man. Yes,